Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Najla Nasri. Dr. Sarah Keller and I wanted to tell you more about the quality improvement and patient safety pathway. So why do we have a quality safety pathway? Why do we need one? Well, in healthcare, we aim to help people, but how good are we at really keeping them safe? When we compare the healthcare industry to other high reliability organizations like the aviation, high speed rail, or nuclear power industries, the services that we provide are actually not as safe. We have more fatalities than they do. So even though we do a good job in medicine, we definitely have room to improve the quality of care that we provide. The National Academy of Medicine defines healthcare quality as the degree to which services increase the likelihood of desired health outcomes and are consistent with current professional knowledge. And while patient safety is a component of healthcare quality, it's not all that it encompasses. There are actually six domains of healthcare quality, and the Academy emphasizes that we should be providing care that is safe, effective, patient-centered, timely, efficient, and equitable. So the goal of our quality improvement pathway is to expose residents to the breadth of opportunity in the field of quality and to give them the skill set to incorporate healthcare quality work into their careers. And there are many ways that you can get involved during your internal medicine residency training and in your career beyond. Thanks, Najla. I'm Sarah Keller, and I'll go into what the pathway entails. You apply to join the pathway at the end of intern year. Once enrolled, you will complete an intensive two-week training block at the beginning of your second year. During that time, you will think of a quality improvement project that you would like to conduct. You will be mentored on that quality improvement capstone project during your second and third year of residency and have regular meetings with your advisor. We'll have a bi-monthly meetings as a pathway where you'll present different stages of your work for feedback. And we will also conduct journal club and book clubs during some of these meetings. We'll have you join departmental safety and quality meetings so that you stay abreast with the hospital's quality priorities and larger projects going on, and so that you can learn about how to lead multidisciplinary quality and safety meetings. You'll also conduct noon M&M conferences on cases that involve health staff, and you'll receive professional development mentoring as part of the pathway. The skill set that you will acquire will help you tackle healthcare problems that you encounter and help you engage your team in working towards that goal. With this training, you can conduct quality improvement initiatives locally, institution-wide, regionally, or even nationally. You can perform healthcare quality research or health services research. You can oversee or guide healthcare quality work as a healthcare administrator or as a leader of a division, department, or clinical service. You can also work for public health, governmental, and non-for-profit organizations. There are many ways that you can incorporate quality improvement work into your career, and we hope that this pathway will help you develop that skill set. Please feel free to reach out to either one of us with any questions. We'd be happy to hear from you.